instead of calling an ITS guy to give you some ideas, you just call your company guy, your phone company guy. And he comes and he connects you this building with that building. Maybe if it is far, they will probably wouldn't have done it with, with copper. They would probably have done it with fiber because of the distance. But let's just for the example say that they use copper. And believe me, it's not like they don't. There's a lot of companies that they do. So let's say they did it with copper. All your hacker guy now got to do is simple. You just got to go into your building and go to any closet that has that cable going from one building to the other. And all he has to do is take that cable, cut it, put a RJ45 on each stream of the cable, and connect it to a hub, to a switch. And he's in your whole network right now. Now, he defeat your first layer of security. He's already in your media. Once he's in your media, remember, he he's already in the first layer. He already went in. He's in. Now he's at your level of IP. And then you're going to tell me, well, that EO, is, it, it could be true, but remember, there's a lot of different things that will have to be going on so that that could work. Remember, he will need an IP. He will also need to, to get a user in a path. You will be amazed how some of these uh, computer guys that you contract to do your jobs work uh, sometimes to save time sometimes because maybe the customer won't pay for the time that it will take to implement it right uh, you know what they're gonna do most likely they're gonna have a regular IT guy that is gonna have a DHCP install on their network a DHCP man meaning that is a provider of IPs what he does is every time he finds a computer without IP he'll give her one so that she could get connected so if you have that type of IT guy, he will have an automatic DHCP assigned to your network. So, hacker doesn't have to crack his head finding that 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 IP. You just gave it to him. And believe me, there's a lot of people out there that work that way. That was pretty simple to, to correct. You know, you just had to assign static IPs to each computer, making it hard for the hacker to figure out what IP, what did he need. But, they didn't do that. So the first thing you just did was gave him access to your network. He just cut that cable and he connected his hub, he connected his computer, he's already in the first layer. You're going to tell me, well, okay, daddy Now he got an IP and now he's in my network and he just cut that cable. But they could have done that with anybody. Well, if you didn't have an IT guy with ITS certifications, he might. But if it was somebody with two fingers in his running, he was a, all he had to do was tied up a sw uh, a router from this side to the router of that side by mac address by doing so anything that would have got in through that cable that wouldn't been tied up by my by mac address wouldn't had communication going through so it is a way you know remember the way is what we know uh the not knowing the way is what gets you in the position that you are right now by not having the total security that you should have to protect your infrastructure from attacks you know so that's one way of simple attack of how to getting into your infrastructure you know and let's be more simple you know that's cutting cables you know and some people will say yeah but you're cutting a cable what you think the people on the other side is not going to find out that you just cut the cable it's not going to happen like that that you come on and i'm going to go well you're right you'll probably find out that they cut the cable you know what's going to happen i'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen it's gonna cut the cable. Cutting the cable, putting the RJ45 in there and setting up the, the the switch or the hub or whatever he's gonna use. It's gonna take him probably, if he's slow, five minutes, maybe, maybe six, seven minutes. I don't think it's more than that. It is no way it will take him. It is no way it will take him more than that. But say six minutes. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna cut the cable. The user in the other extreme of the computer hoping he's working with the computer right at the moment that he cut the cable it's gonna figure out that the system went off like in about two or three minutes why because the system is not gonna send a, a reply until probably he doesn't do a save or whatever so it's not gonna be a, any check between the two communication routers so he figured out oh the system is down oh my god I have a problem he calls your computer guy let's hope you're the type of company that contract ITSs and has them always around. Because if you don't, 
you're probably within the realm of the companies that call their guys only when they need them. Don't make no contracts. Just call them when you need them, and it's cheaper. Well, cheaper is going to cost you. You know why? Because now that guy it's going to take a minimum to get to your site. Let's hope he's close. Two to three hours, maybe days to get to your site. You know, let's say you're not that type of company because then my attack will be like the perfect attack. Let's say, let's make it a little bit harder for the attack. Let's say you have your ITS guy on site. He's there. It's true. You call to the computer room. Hey, listen, Dario, you know what? Or whoever's your IT guy in the soul. You know, I have my system now. Well, your your, your guy is going to go. Oh, dude, give me five minutes. I'll be there. Um, another computer. I'll be there right now. It'll take him maybe probably four to five minutes to get there, maybe ten. Once he gets there, he got to start figuring it out. You know, he got to go with all this technical stuff. Oh, my God, I can't get connected. What is wrong here? Uh, I'm putting, I'm putting this. I'm IP tracing. I'm getting a ping. I can't. Oh my God! I can't see the network. But, but turn the computer off. Turn it on. It works. You know why it works? Because while he was doing all that, it will probably take him five to ten minutes to get there. Five to ten minutes to do the tests. Maybe more. Your guy up there already finished six minutes ago. Your computer only needs to repair his IP connection, which is probably already did it by himself. So he's going to tell you, you know what? This is looking okay. It looks like it's working. You've already been infiltrated and you've already been attacked. Your network is infiltrated. You already have somebody in your network and you don't know it. You don't even know what type of level of security is already within your network. But now, you're going to tell me the other part. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that sounds so great. But you know what? How is he from a closet uh, going to do me the whole attack? That's going to take him some hours. You already told me that an attack could take even days, you know, depending on what type of attack he's trying to plan. Oh, you're right. You know, if you want to make it more James Bond style or you want to make it more... Mission Impossible style. Simple. All he has to do is instead of putting a regular router or a regular switch, put an access point. Put a wireless switch. And now he could go to the parking of your building. He could go to the other building. He could be parked outside. And he could just be doing the attack from out there. And he's already within your network and with all the time of the world to do your the attack. So that's a simple way of attacking a wired infrastructure and like I was saying it's not like you only need that cable it's like you see so many things out there that you will be surprised you know people do not consult with the professionals that understand what they're doing sometimes to do things you know you will you will be amazed you go to companies and the first thing you, you see is when they're going to do the wiring, the first thing they do is, you know what? I want a drop there and I want another drop there and I want another drop there, but you don't have no body there. Yeah, yeah, but I'll eventually might put some body there and if I do, I want to have a drop there so I can have communications there. You know what? Put me one in the lobby also. Oh, and just in case, put me one back there in the over there close to my computer but, but in back just, just in case. Just in case, you never know, I don't need it right now, but in the future I might, you know. And obviously, by more drops he puts, more money he might get, so he'll just do it. You know what he just did? He created several points of attack by just doing so. Now you go to that company, and you go to any of those drops, and you connect a laptop, you connect any computer, look. These computers right now, they're so small. You just could have one of these and just connect it and 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 what you do is you're hacking their network from within it from within their network because they already left you drops everywhere you just gotta connect to anyone then you're gonna tell me whoa and how can we fix that how, why what, what we should have done for that that you well pretty simple you know if you would have an IT guy an ITS guy the first thing he would have told you who are those drops assigned to? They're not being used. 
you'll go to your patch panel, and 